Hi guys, it's Zaga from RV's Artist and in today's video I show you how to model the spiral stairs like this. Let's open the 3ds Max. I use the 3ds Max stair object. Go to Create, Stairs and choose Spiral Stairs. It doesn't look good yet, but we will get there. In the layout section, we can control the radius and the width of the stairs. Radius controls the size of the stairs from the center to the outer edge. I make a quick measure to show you how it works. In the rise section, we can control the overall height and the number of stairs. The height is actually lower, because the last step is into the next level, so we have to use the level height. Here we can change the step height, because riser count is locked over overall height decreased. Here we can control the number of revolutions. We have to lock the riser height and then change the overall height. Number one is not always perfect, so I adjust it a bit. In the type section, we can change the type of the stairs. I keep the open stairs for now. Let's change the thickness to the same value as the riser height. We can turn off the carriage here. In this section, we can also add the additional elements. If you want to use them, you are able to edit them in the bottom rollouts. As you can see, we have no connections here. The mesh is not so good. I will use these stairs as a base and remodel them in editable poly mode. I will check it back to the open type. Now let's copy them and change the type to close. I will convert this object to editable poly and delete all the polygons except for the bottom part. Here is what we have. I start by adding the connections to the object.
Next, I'll extrude all the polygons to add the thickness. I copy the polygons to close the object. I have to flip them and weld vertices. I delete these polygons so it's easier to make loop selections. I select size. You can select one polygon and then select another holding shift to make loop selection and I'll extrude them. Make sure you change type to local normal. I'll extrude the bottom center part even more. Again, I delete these polygons to make selections easier. Let's select these polygons and extrude them. Now I create polygons I deleted before using the bridge method. I'll add some more details here. Let's start by adding the connections and extrude the outer polygons. I add the polygons back using the cap option. I add some connections here to smooth these polygons a bit. I select these polygons to make the glass railing. Let's detach this as a clone and isolate. I remove unnecessary polygons. I make it a bit thinner. Let's add two connections and remove the outer polygons. Next, I'll extrude the railing and copy top polygons to the bottom like last time. It's almost done. 
Lastly, I add the chamfer modifier using my script. If you haven't watched my chamfer video or the video about how to create a script like that, you can find them in the corner. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!